So what do you do if your person can't help you at all, if they're, um, for whatever reason, having really so much difficulty moving that they can't turn? I cannot stress enough that you still need to communicate everything that you're planning to do and um, I call it solicit the person's assistance as much as possible because you don't want any surprises, you don't want any unexpected movements, and you want everybody to be on the same page and go with each other, okay? Now, um, when the person can't help you at all, it's kind of, it's a lot harder to do it from this side because um, what you'll find is that you're kind of pushing like this and, you know, and it's, it's, it's kind of hard on everybody because you're pushing the weight away from you. So the further away you get from yourself, the more stress is on your back. And maybe, you know, if your person's kind of flopping back on you, it's, it's very hard to do. So you actually want to do it from the side um, where Kelly is so that, so that you have leverage that, and, and you're pulling the person toward you. Kelly's gonna get started. We have the pillow over here. Now, um, first thing she's doing is lowering the rail. If you have a rail, um, don't try to reach around the rail um, to, to do this because it'll, it'll hurt your back also, okay? So you wanna keep the rail down. But Kelly's first gonna get her knee, if she can bend, bend her knee. knee. Bend her knee, good. And then let's put this arm over your chest. Put the arm over the chest. And then the, the other arm can be, um, you know, either straight, but it's actually better to have the other arm on, on, on her body also, okay? Okay. Now we're going to say, okay, face me, face me. Okay. And then you, whatever the person's, whatever word your person identifies with, turn or roll over or, or, you know, if it's a different language, use that language if you can. Um, and count to three or say, ready, set, go or something. Say, okay, we're going to turn. Okay. Are you ready? Are you? On three, we're turning. Okay. Okay. One. Now Kelly's kind of bent over. You can't help but do that. But she wants to look up a little bit to keep to take the stress off her lower back and so she's holding and she's going to use all arms and she's going to try to keep her feet and her feet are apart okay One, two, two three. three okay current okay now see so she's got leverage and she can actually pull now you want to have her uh, uh stay in that position now the thing is this uh, caroline's not a heavy person and she kind of went with it she didn't resist or anything so there really wasn't a lot of pressure oh and kelly's going to raise the rail don't ever forget to raise the rail so that your person doesn't actually roll out of bed that's always drag okay so um you keep the rail up on that side now um sometimes a person is a lot heavier than that and actually that maneuver is too heavy for you okay so we're going to go over that next